Hi, my name is Vincent here with Film Gear USA, and today I'm here to talk to you about our line of fixtures, the Power Beams. These lights are designed to give you strong, crisp beams and use with combination with atmospheric effects like haze or smoke. We have two families in this product line. We have an HMI version, which we'll look at a little bit later, and a tungsten version that's behind me. Both families also include dual lamp heads for each fixture, so you're not limited to just it being a 5K, it's a 5K or a 2K, depending on which globe you put in. To open up the fixture, there's a small latch on the side, you lift that up, and the front of the face will swing open. On the larger fixtures, the face opens up with these two screws on the side, and then it just opens up like that. So to install the globe, Squeeze around there. And on the front, there's this little lock. Close that. And on the back, there's this catch. So with the dual globe heads, you can swap out which globes you put in which light depending on your power needs. Right now we have a 5K globe in the 5K slash 2K, but you might notice that the center of the bulb is actually higher than the beam guides. It's currently here instead of here. So to compensate for that, you can adjust the height of the beam here. To adjust that, you simply go in here and spin these and loosen them and then tighten them once the globe is in the correct position. Now you can see the center of the globe is lined up with the beam guides and you're ready to use it. So now that we've globed up all of our lamps, let's go ahead and turn them on. On the smaller heads, you have a power switch on the lamp left side. For the larger heads, you will need a dimmer. There is no actual switch on the light. It is recommended that you dim the light up instead of striking it at full intensity. Here we have one of Film Gear's tungsten dimmers. This one is hooked up to the 2420 power beam. So we can go ahead and the switch on the back. Here you have the power indicator. Before you dim up, you'll want to make sure that the voltage selector is set to the right voltage. You'll also notice that there's DMX in, DMX out, and this is the DMX addresser. Let's go ahead and dim it up. And here we have the full line of tungsten power beams turned on. Let's really see the effect and power of the light. We'll need to add some atmosphere. Now that we've added some atmosphere, this is what the beam from the fixture looks like. Behind me is the 5 slash 2K. Here in the back of the fixture is the spot flood. Here we have full spot. And then here is full flood. It should be noted, in order for the heat to vent properly, the light should not be tilted up or down more than 45 degrees for an extended period of time. The daylight family of power beams consists of the 1.8 slash 1.2, the 4 slash 2.5K, the 9 slash 6K, which is behind me, as well as the 18 slash 12K. And then these HMIs operate the same way as any other HMI. There's a ballast and a head feeder cable as well. And then the general build is the same as the other power beams in the line. The only other major difference between the HMI and tungsten power beams is the door sensor. So here you can sort of see that engaging. Um, so if you do ever have problems striking it, I would check the door sensor to make sure it is engaging properly. And that covers the full line of power beam fixtures. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. If you'd like to schedule an in-person demo as well, I'd be more than happy to accommodate you.